Hey everyone, Chuck from Chuck Wagon MTG. Thank you very much for joining us today for another booster box opening. Today we're bringing you a box of Ixalan, what is turning out to be one of my favorite sets in many, many, many moons. Um, I'm just... I, I, I know I said that about our that uh, I really liked it, but, but this set is just really resonating with me. Um, nostalgia wise um, flavor wise is just it just seems to all be there so let's go ahead and get these bad boys out of here <clears throat> all right see if we can continue our trend um, if you check out some of our other videos of Ixalan that we've opened opened um, we've had some pretty good luck with misprints and miscuts um it's been a fun ride man i'm not gonna lie all right we're gonna skip past all the commons get straight to the good stuff the uncommons that you guys know and love and the reason you come here all right we have heartless pillage deathless ancient sky terror and our rare is shadowed caravel oh and we got a foil dual shot uh, and looking like this is not following the uh, the pattern we had before of the foils having the square corner oh sad face that's all right though we got it in a couple different boxes can't expect that kind of glory out of every box we have kite sail freebooter sleek schooner Snapping Sailback, and our rare is Deadeye Tracker. Oh, and we got another foil. We got a Stormfleet Arsonist. Ooh, two packs in and two foils. That's not bad. All right, we have Troll of Temptation. Verdant Rebirth. Lurking Chupacabra. I just love saying that. And we got a Tecatli Honor Guard. There we go. We have a Steadfast Armasaur, Siren Storm Tamer, Seeker Squire, and our rare is Sanguine Sacrament. All right, what kind of other good stuff can we get? We have Vine Shaper Mystic, Imperial Lancer, Bellowing Agasaur, and our rare is Emperor's vanguard trying my best to blow through these for you guys like we've said in some previous videos we're doing our best to cut down video time uh, so we're not having you know 25 minute half hour pack openings or box openings all right we have pillar of origins dinosaur stampede imperial aerosol and our rare is rip jaw raptor i think that guy's a few bucks All right, we have Favorable Winds, Bishop of the Bloodstained, Air Elemental, and our rare is Glacial Fortress. We'll take that. Lands are always worth a little something. We have Emergent Growth, Dire Fleet Captain, Glorifier of Dusk, and our rare is... Regisaur Alpha. That guy's worth something too. All right. Almost through that first stack, we have a somewhat solid start to our box. We have Navigator of Ruin, Heartless Pillage, Drover of the Mighty, and our rare is Kapala, Warden of Waves. I don't think that card's worth anything, but I could be wrong on that. It's a merfolk, though, so I kind of like it. I got a soft spot for mer merfolk. Oldest deck I own. All right, we have a Steadfast Armasaur, Siren Storm Tamer, Ixalan's Binding, and our rare is Search for Ascanta. That one's a few bucks there, like four or five bucks. 
Nothing too much, but still not bad. Not bad. We have Pillar of Origins, Savage Stump, Optech Huntmaster, and Entrancing Melody. A Tepic. Not Optech. A Tepic Huntmaster. You know, there's there's one card in every set. Never fails. That for whatever reason, I just can't pronounce it. I look at it and it's like Latin to me. I just, I don't know. Alright, we have Lookout's Dispersal. Emissary of Sunrise. Chart a course and our rare is Burning Sun's Avatar. We got a foil. We got a foil. It is a foil island. Still pretty. Second stack. Let's see if we can kind of either keep momentum or gain momentum. We don't want to lose momentum. Stormfleet Arsonist. Slice and Twain. Walk the plank and our rare is Talonalis. Talonalis? Talonalis Skin Shifter. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm probably slaughtering that too. <laughs> you guys would think I'd know how to speak English. All right, we have Inspiring Cleric, Deep Root Waters, Unclaimed Territory, and our rare is Legion's Landing. That's not bad. That might be a buck or two. I don't know. I don't think it is. Though. Okay, next on our pack list, we have Lookout's Dispersal, Tempest Caller. Oh, let's get back in center here. Merfolk Branchwalker and our rare is Repeating Barrage. We have Emergent Growth, Unclaimed Territory again, Emissary of Sunrise, and our rare is Ruin Raider. <clears throat> All right, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's get this over with. Navigator of Ruin. We don't want to get this over with. We love it. Ruthless Knave. River Sneak and our rare is Daring Saboteur. Those don't go there. Get out of that pile. Go. Get. Okay. We have a bunch of commons I'm not going to mention. It's getting late, folks. I'm tired. We have makeshift munitions. Raging Sword Tooth. Dark Nourishment. And our rare is Dowsing Dagger. I could be. I, I think that's a few bucks. I'm probably wrong on that. But for some reason, that's sticking out as, uh, as worth something. I'm probably wrong. It occasionally happens. Wanted Scoundrels, Raging Raptors, Call to the Feast, and our rare is Dreamcaller Siren, and I think we have a foil. We do. It is Crash the Ramparts. Yeah, that's actually not too bad of a foil. Someday I'll be able to afford a camera that can truly capture the beauty of foils. I mean, I, I honestly don't even know if one exists, because... Foils to me never look as good on camera, but that's just me. We have Lightning Rig Crew, Sheltering Light, Advanto, or Adanto Vanguard. There we go. And our rare is Settle the Wreckage. Okay, we have Field of Ruin, Wily Goblin. Charging Monstrosaur, and our rare is... Hey, we got a Mythic. Is this really the first Mythic of the box? It is. First Mythic of the box, we got Dire Fleet Ravager, and we do get a foil as well. It's a foil rare, a foil Dead Eye Tracker. That was not too shabby of a pack. I mean, the Mythic could have been a little better, but we did get a foily rare, so that's, that's kind of nice, and that's a good-looking foil, too. That's a double win. Because there's some foils, you can tell they just didn't even try. They're just like, just make it shiny. We don't care what it looks like. We have Duskborn Skymarcher. Glorifier of Dusk. 
Stormfleet Spy, and our rare is, hey, we got another mythic. Back-to-back -back mythics. Sweet. Vona Butcher of Magan, the Vampire Knight. Good stuff. I don't think I've told one of those yet. Pay seven life, destroy target permanent. I don't know, seems risky. We have Rigging Runner, Deadeye Plunderers, Bonded, Horncrest, and our rare is Rootbound Craig. Last pack in that second stack as I knock the dice all over my desk. Wrong pile. Ugh. All right, we have Deep Root Waters, Ruthless Knave, Dead Eye Quartermaster, and our rare is Goring Ceratops. All right, third stack, two thirds of the box down. Let's see what kind of magic we can make here. We have Grim Captain's Call, Elaborate Fire Cannon, Atzikan Archer, and our rare is a Drowned Catacomb. All right, we have Sentinel Totem, Call to the Feast, Raptor Hatchling, and our rare is Waker of the Wilds. This card was so nuts in uh, doing pre. In fact, <clears throat> excuse me, I actually wound up getting each of these in the same pool. I actually had two Wakers, and let me tell you how fun it is to create a. Five five six six, land, and then swing with double strike, and they're like, nah, I'm not gonna block. And then, you put another five or six counters on it. I did that a couple times. Like, oh, that's how that works. Yeah, good stuff. So good. Anyways, we have sheltering light. Marauding Looter, Walk the Plank, and our rare is Dragon Skull Summit. We're just pulling all the lands today. Got another foil. We have Belligerent Brontodon, Dead Eye Plunderers, Ed Adanto Vanguard, and our rare. We got a foil spell pierce. That's kind of fun. And then we got a treasure map. <clears throat> Foil Spell Pierce. I don't know if it's actually worth anything, but it's a good looking foil. And Spell Pierce has been around for a hot minute, so could be something. Rigging Runner. Lightning Strike. Bright Reprisal, and our rare is Captain Lannery Storm. We have Field of Ruin, Wily Goblin, Marauding Looter, and our rare is Vraska's Contempt. Alright, getting down to it. We have Perilous Voyage, Raider's Wake, Drover of the Mighty, and our rare is Sorcerer's Spyglass. We got what? Got five packs left. Still only two mythics. <clears throat> Hopefully we see something else good here. Turn this into a good box. Dusk Legion Dreadnought. Savage Stump. Fiery Cannonade and our rare is... Oh, we got another flip. Encampment Keeper is a foil and Argul's Blood Fast. Don't think I've actually pulled one of these yet. No idea what that's worth. But it's a flip card, so that's kind of fun. Pay some life, draw a card. Sounds pretty good. Sound, sounds like a, uh, a thing to do in, in, in black. Pay life, draw. We have Rallying Roar. Bright Reprisal. Dead Eye Quartermaster. And our rare is Spell Swindle. Still have yet to pull a foil one. 
I may have to actually go out and buy mine. I don't see them being too much. I just want them because they're going to look beautiful with that art. At least they should look beautiful. I hope they get it right. I'd hate for that to turn into a bad looking foil. Slice and Twain. Duskborn Sky Marcher. Raging Swordtooth and our rare is Hostage Taker. I'll go ahead and take that. Oh, and we got a foil Death Gorge Scavenger. Okay, okay. Well, that's a little better there. Get a decent quality rare. It's, you know, five, six bucks, I think. And then the foil scavenger, I think, is another four or five. I don't know. We'll see. We'll still need another mythic. Actually, we need two to stay on uh, quota. So these both better have mythics. We have Heartless Pillage. Shapers of Nature. Let's get back in center here. Thundering Spineback. And our rare is... Hey, look at that. We got a Jace Cunning Castaway as our third mythic of the box. This pack had better have a foil Jace in it. Let's see if that works. Uh, I don't think there's a foil. Ooh, there might be. I don't know. Grim Captain's Call. Elaborate Fire Cannon. Dire Fleet Captain. And our rare is Rampaging Ferocidon. And we didn't get a foil. So, yeah, okay. It didn't work. <clears throat> well, we kind of hit under the mark with only three Mythics. Uh, I don't think I missed anything price-wise um, in this stack of rares. If I did, please point it out in the comments, because I have been known to do that. Uh, you know, Settle the Wreckage might be... I don't know. Yeah, I don't think anything else here is anything that great. Um, but our good rare pile, not bad. Hostage Taker, we got the Dragon Skull Summit, Drum Catacomb, <coughs> excuse me, Rootbound Crag, Glacial Fortress. And then we got the Ripjaw Raptor, the Alpha, the Search for Canta, and the Dowsing Dagger. That's some money. Um, Dire Fleet Ravager, not really that great. Um, I honestly have no idea where this card sits in the mix of things. Um, but we did get a Jace Cunning Castaway. And then we, for foils, we got the Death Gorge Scavenger. Encampment Keeper, Foil Spell Pierce, Dead Eye Tracker, another Foil Rare, Crash of the Ramparts, an Island, Stormfleet Arsonist, and Dual Shot. So, um, we'll go ahead and call it a mediocre box. Um, not bad, not a ton of junk rares comparatively speaking but uh, we did not hit the fourth mythic um, and nothing crazy in foil so yeah we're just going to call this kind of a mediocre box anyways thank you very much for watching it's greatly appreciated if you like what you saw hit the like button subscribe to the channel share this channel and share this video with your friends your families your loved ones your pets we all need a little more magic in our lives Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, ChuckwagonMTG.